Hello and welcome to another edition of Sparky Help. This time we're going to look at mastering a gusset T to any measurement, so please stay till the end. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share, or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. OK, so let's have a look at this. So step one, first thing we're going to do is cut our two pieces for our gusset. The gusset is dependent on what you wish for and therefore it's dependent on the type of cables you've got bending round. This time I'm going to base it on the size of the tray and I'm going to do this and measure that out and you see that I've multiplied it by 1.41 which is root 2. So this is the width of the tray times by 100 which is 100 mil multiplied by 1.41. Obviously cut those to size, I need two of them to make my gusset. Obviously as always make sure you file them up. Once they're filed, we're going to return one of those edges, we're going to remove it completely, because we don't need it. So as it's going to fit to this size, and obviously, as always, ensure they are filed. Now that's your gussets done, wait till the end if you want to see different sizes. And now we're going to cut the T, decide where your T is going to be, and I'll just show you how very quickly how to make a standard T, if you didn't have to worry too much about gusset bends. So we're going to cut it. I'm going to cut it the length of the tray, which is 100mm, and we're going to cut those edges off, as we see on there. And then decide whereabouts you want your T to be. I'm going to measure to the centre, and then just measure either direction. So in this case 50mm, and we're going to remove that piece, and we're going to remove all of that. And as ever, with our angle grinder, or your hacksaw, whatever you wish, remove those edges. Once you've got those edges cut out, obviously make sure you file them up. And that's those edges removed. And we can quickly file those, put those on. And if you put that together, then you've got a basic T, and we nut and bolt that in position as shown. If you had standard cables, they'd be able to go around. Step number three, mark out for your gusset pieces. So we are going to do the gusset, and based on the earlier calculation, I did 1.41, so we're going to measure 100mm either side of our dimension, and we're going to remove that lip. So let's move ahead and mark those out either direction that includes on the vertical piece and this will be removed. So this is quite a big gusset uh, that you're going to use um, for this particular one I've just shown. Obviously if you wish to do shorter ones then you can and you decide. Obviously like I say it depends on what cable you're putting on so we're going to cut those bits out. And then once you've cut them out, it's ready to bolt them together, obviously after you've filed it. Remember, if you wish to see uh, different dimensions, please hang on to the end of the video. We're ready for step four. So step four, what we're going to do, we're just going to bolt them together. So put them in the correct location with your four pieces of tray. Once you've got them held in a position, we need to drill out holes, because obviously the chances are, the, <laughs> in my case, they very rarely do they line up. We're going to just nut and bolt them. It's a little bit tricky just holding them together. But once you get a couple of bolts in, it's all good. And you bolt them in position. Remember, when you put this on Unistrut, the strength will come back in the tray itself. Make sure you file them up maybe get a pair of pliers just to tweak those edges around and there's your finished article. But what about if you want different dimensions, different gussets? If you don't want to go that large, you may not want to. So how do we do that? Well, we need to know these sides here. So it's dependent on your first gusset, the long one. So here we go. Here's a bit of paper. Go for various sizes. So let's put one there. 
Let's try another one there. And we're trying to work out what those dimensions are. So we need to know how big your gusset is going to be. So mine's roughly to scale. So 30 mil and 60 mil. And what is that dimension there? Well, it's a 45 degree. That's what we're aiming for. And the rule of thumb here is it's always a ratio of square root of 2. So if we do 30 divided by the square root of 2 to find x, and if you want to find the other dimension, it's going to be 60 divided by the square root of 2. So let's do the first one there. 30 divided by 1.41 is 21.2. 60 divided by the square root of 2, which is 60 divided by 1.41, comes out at 42.4. And then when you do those measurements, you cut those, what you've just said there. I mean, it doesn't matter too much within a couple of mil of each other. That's not going to need a million miles out. So there you go. Find that first measurement there and then divide that by root two there. That gives you the two cutout pieces. Remember, please click like and subscribe. Many thanks.